Thank you. Bonjour. Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, I uh, I would like to introduce first, if I understand how to do that. Um, I would like to talk to you about the uh, the um, our observational program, what we would like to launch in uh, in the Mediterranean. And uh, let me give you a few words about uh, the, intro the introduction. Yeah. Uh, the in the in the late uh, in the late seventies or something, the, the 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 idea of the Mediterranean circulation was rather Id idyllic. So we had uh, a uh, nice, smooth, general circulation of the Mediterranean, and uh, uh, and uh, the typical time scale of this circulation was uh, around 100 years, and every, everything was very smooth, very nice, and and uh, we were very happy with that. But then there were there was complications which comes about, for example, uh, while we had a very big uh, national international program poem which was in late 80s. Uh, where we found out that this is not true. We found out, first of all, that the Mediterranean circulation is characterized by a number of uh, different scales, from the basin wide scales until the, uh, the mesoscale, and even now, uh, more recently, under the sub-mesoscale circulation features. And therefore, the, 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 the image was very, became very complicated, as already we have heard from Joachim. And so the, the observational tools were not well enough, good enough to, 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 to approach this, to address these this problems. In addition to that, we, we noticed that uh, the Mediterranean circulation has, has uh, experienced dramatic changes. So we first, first of all, we found out Eastern Mediterranean transient in, late, uh, in early 90s, which has complicated additionally our lives. And then we uh, observed also the Western Mediterranean transition in in early 90s. So we had a, we had a series of complications in our in our image of the Mediterranean, and uh, but at the same time we want to also to to set up the the long term observation program, which will give us the idea of what is the climatic and long term variability of the Mediterranean. In order to do that, we have to formulate a program which will be. Uh, which will be uh, uh, relatively simple and which will give us good, good enough information of what are the long-term changes. In order to do that, first of all, we should do this with the, we, the, the, boss, the best thing would be to do it with the ships. So with in situ data, because we don't have uh, uh, means and ship observations are good enough to give us the idea of long-term variability. But in order to do that, we have to, to combine the in situ observation with ship with, with all the available uh, means what we have uh, in hands. What already Joaquin was talking to us about the gliders, about the, uh, he did mention the, uh, the uh, 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 high frequency radar, or we have uh, in our hands uh, uh, the Argo float program. All these uh, satellite data with what we have heard there also, all these, these means for the measurements are very useful, useful and they are very important to complement, complement our measurements with the, with, the, with the ship. So what I would like to talk to you is the, how we are going to plan a repeated basin my surveys for climatic studies in the Mediterranean Sea, taking into account that in order to do that efficient long-term observational system in the Mediterranean, we have to complement our measurements with all these with, with all these measurement methods, what we have on our hands. So uh, our idea was to try to set up this, uh, this program which, where we will have the regular repetition of uh, uh, transmit, uh, transects with the ship in order to get the information of what are the long-term changes. Uh, there is already, already an idea in, uh, on the World Ocean, which is called GoShip, which is the uh, which is the uh, world program which brings together science, as you can see here, is an, uh, a multidisciplinary uh, program which is made up of number of transects along the world ocean, where we can get the information on the on the on the uh, thermohaline properties, on the in, uh, multidisciplinary status of the of the world ocean, 
and, uh, and in order to get the, the, the information on the long-term changes. As you can see here, the strategy for a sustained global repeat hydrography program is to develop formal international agreements to, for a sustained international repeat ship-based hydrography program, to develop internationally agreed strategy and implementation plan building on the guidelines of the community-wide paper, uh, to advocate for national contribution, to provide a central forum for communication and coordination, and to develop synthesis of hydrographic data in partnership with national, regional, and global research programs. This, all this is, has been done for the World Ocean. And, uh, and this, is the, uh, this is the Goshi program with the number of, uh, of transects which are covering practically the entire World Ocean, which has, which has been repeated on, uh, on a several uh, year time scale. And uh, where we have, uh, there has been collected a number of very useful data on the long-term changes in, in, in the global ocean. Of course, the, um, uh, in, a, in, in, in addition to that, there, is the, uh, there, is the, uh, uh, ma there are a number of manuals which has been uh, uh, written down in order to, uh, uh, to have a joint uh, uh, approach to the data analysis, to the to the data, uh, to the to the measurements, uh, and to a complete strategy of data data uh, uh, collection. So there are number of uh, of manuals where where, for example, there are uh, very detailed description of how to uh, do the CTD measurements, how to analyze the data, how to uh, calculate the oxygen, uh, and so forth, and. Uh, Stations occupied during the Vos one-time survey was this, which is practically GoShip is the continuation of the Vos program. And as you can see here, the Mediterranean is practically empty. And uh, so the idea here is to, uh, to try to set up the program which will really follow and be integrated fully in this GoShip world program and will cover the Mediterranean, especially because of the fact that we have a very good experience in the Mediterranean and and we know how useful are those measurements because thanks to these type of, of surveys in the Mediterranean, we have found that the Mediterranean circulation time scale and length scale is not such as we were thinking uh, before. And so by uh, working on this, on this uh, preparation of this program, we found out that there are a number of activities in the Mediterranean since uh, mid-80s which can be somehow put under the, the umbrella of what we, we, we had called this uh, MedShip program. For example, in, in uh, 2011, we had found out by chance, because they, they had, and of obviously this, the, this, the scientists which were responsible for the cruises were in contact, but there were no such basin-wide Mediterranean uh, uh, coordination or at least collecting of information. We found out that, for example, in, uh, in 2011, two basin-wide cruises has been done in the Mediterranean basin-wide. Uh, uh, we had a meteor cruise, which was from, from 5 to 24, 28 April. And then we have a Poseidon cruise from uh, 2 June until 11 June. And in addition to that, we have the uh, uh, part of the area covered by, by the Euro Italian ship Urania. So, and this was one of the examples that the Mediterranean, uh, that the Mediterranean oceanography has a strong activities which can be uh, somehow uh, put under the, the umbrella of uh, such a program as a MedShip or, or a basin-wide survey. And uh, this is another thing, this is the uh, Urania cruise. So there are three ships doing the something which can be used as a long-term change, as a, as a program which will somehow help us to define the long-term changes of hydrographic and oceanographic characteristics of the Mediterranean. Uh, uh, in order to, uh, to try to, to find out how we approach this and what would be the, the, um, the organizational and, uh, and scientific basis to, uh, to approach this kind of, uh, of program, we organized under the umbrella of CIASM. In uh, May 2011, we organized in Croatia the, uh, the, the workshop, which was uh, named as Planning of Repeated Basin My Survey for Climatic Studies in the Mediterranean. We called this MedShip. 
This was a brainstorming workshop with the 17 international scientists, and uh, you have um, you have the CSM monograph, which was published on uh, on a, on a CSM web page, where there are um, basic scientific paper uh, on which we have uh, uh, based our uh, this this program. Uh, these are the. This is the result of the discussion what we had uh, during the the branch, the the Croatian workshop. These are the uh, the, the the scheme of the Bayesian wise subdecadal survey where we had defined uh, low frequency six year uh, trans Mediterranean transect and high frequency north south transect in the first approximation. And you can see that we have first of all we have. Uh, Covered the entire entire Mediterranean with trans Mediterranean transect, and then we had uh, covered uh, different sub basins with the north south transects. Obviously, to interpret this data, one has to be very very careful because we have to have the information whether our stations are in the middle of a sub -meso of a mesoscale uh, feature, and which made us can can uh, uh, can uh, bring us to, to wrong conclusions about the long term changes. Therefore, we have to use this the data from these uh, these transits. We have to use it. Uh, Complementing this uh, this this information with the satellite data, with uh, uh, with uh, uh, with all these uh, all other type type of measurements which are going on in the basin, and uh, these are uh, mm, these are again here are the transects which we suggested as a matching program, and in addition to that we have uh, the plan or existing surveys which are going on in in uh, in these areas which are partly based on uh, on the ship surveys partly based on the, on the glider measurements in addition to that obviously you have to think about uh, like uh, i don't remember exactly the number of uh, of argo floats which are presently active in uh, in the mediterranean you do have to integrate this with the satellite data you do have to integrate this uh, with all all other information in order to to have a really very good and very complete picture of the Mediterranean, and it's only by combining all these measurements, one can be able to give the the answer to the question: Is the Mediterranean changes? What is changing in the Mediterranean, and what are the 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 the, the, the uh, changes with Mediterranean has experienced in the last? Uh, uh, 10, 20 years, and and find out uh, possibly the 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 um, strong sudden changes like Eastern Mediterranean transient and Western Mediterranean transition, whether they appear again or not. So, um, what what are steps to to be undertaken? We believe that this kind of initiative should be. Uh, uh, mm, should continue to have the CSM umbrella because CSM is the 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 real uh, uh, the, the the good uh, mm, the good organization which will help us to to go out of the of the of the EU and not only EU but to include the southern um, southern Mediterranean countries and have set up the Mediterranean Black Sea. A monitoring program. So you have, you see here this CS monograph. The, <clears throat> we have this uh, today. Uh, we will have uh, tomorrow. We will have the special session dedicated to Medship. Uh, the idea is my idea is to set up a small steering group which will go on with uh, with uh, carrying on the initiative to set up the formal contacts with the GoShip uh, World Program. And uh, in the first phase, also to collect information on future cruises which can represent the midship like activities, like Perseus, national projects, planned international cruises, and made them available on the dedicated web page. So all the information what CSM get or uh, uh, all the scientists know that there is a dedicated web page in, uh, on the web page of the CSM. There will be every important, all information about the coming uh, coming cruises or coming activities which can be put under the uh, medship uh, program. Thank you for your attention.